Obviously, I thought I was just going to make it down there and have a great time and everything was going to go pretty easy peasy, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't and it wasn't <laughs> and I had to be constantly surrendering and constantly choosing to let myself be guided to lean into discomfort and it started the morning that I left. Hi everyone, my name is Britt if you've never been here to my channel before and yeah, if it's your first time, I mainly focus on spiritual expansion and personal development. I really, really love telling stories of synchronicity and oh my gosh, I'm going to be talking in this episode about Spirit Weavers, which is a spiritual women's gathering that goes on in South Oregon and it's like a big annual event for me. This was only my second time going. I said in my Instagram story before I left that I was gonna vlog while I was there at Spirit Weavers and as you can see I didn't vlog at all. There's something super sacred about the land there and I know that we live in a really fast society here where it's like your devices are another part of your being but this is not the way that the natural world functions and this is not a way that I like to function just like having my phone available at the ready all the time to like capture whatever's going on in my world it um it really takes me out of the present moment whenever i do have a mindset like that and i i just couldn't i couldn't do that there's also something about the land itself it just makes that whole facade the whole veil of being tapped into electronics all the time as another you know like arm or leg of our being it just makes it so apparent how not real it is because we're living out in nature as a community and you know just tapping into some really really sacred medicines and diving into really genuine and authentic experiences so for me to sit there and like have my camera out or even just recording the land I just didn't want to do it there was just something that didn't seem right about it so yeah that's my opening testimony <laughs> to this gathering <sighs> I've only told a few people this story, and I'm gonna say this right here at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my experience there, but not going into the entirety. And if you are curious to know a little piece of my story and the medicine that can be delivered energetically at this gathering, then please, by all means, keep watching. And I love you so much. <laughs> I haven't been telling very many people this story, but whenever I do, I liken it to a psychedelic experience. And if you have taken psychedelics, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, then take my advice. <laughs> um, I think a lot of times, for me at least, I've gone into psychedelic experiences thinking that I know the way that the situation's gonna go. Like, I think that I know what the experience is gonna be like 
sometimes I take it and then universe gives me the smack down and it's just like no it's not gonna be like that at all but good try <laughs> and that's exactly what this experience was like obviously I thought I was just gonna make it down there and have a great time and everything was gonna go pretty easy peasy but it didn't <laughs> it didn't and it wasn't <laughs> and I had to be constantly surrendering and constantly choosing to let myself be guided constantly choosing to lean into discomfort and it started the morning that I left my bags didn't come from Las Vegas to Portland they got lost and um, it's funny because on the way to the airport I was like what if my bags didn't arrive in Portland <laughs> Don't think that stuff <laughs> whenever you're going somewhere because universe will be like, oh, you don't know how you would react? Let's find out. Ding, 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 ding. That's exactly what happens. It's happened to me numerous times. So um, obviously I manifested not getting my bags and I was like, okay, cool. This is going to be a really interesting trip. Let's see what happens. And um, I found myself at the gathering without any layers, no umbrella, no poncho. It was raining for two straight days. Open-toed shoes were all that I had, my sandals, and I had to be asking for all kinds of stuff. Underwear, socks, cups, bowls, cutlery, jackets, sweaters, pants. It was crazy. It was madness. Um, I didn't realize what a hard time I had. Uh, asking people for things and it became very very um aware to me that i take really really good care of myself so that i never have to ask anything from anyone and be an inconvenience to anyone because of the bullying stories that i still carry with me that i'm trying to let go of all the time i think that i'm not worthy of asking for things this is the medicine of this trip and as if i wasn't leaning into it already enough on at the end of day two a woman gave me a cup and a bowl and i was like oh my gosh i got a cup and bowl i don't have to be asking people to use their plate anymore to eat off of and um i was staring up at the sky twirling around dancing so happily and i rolled my foot just rolled down the hill <laughs> i stumbled and thought everything was fine the rest of the day was fine it didn't really hurt too bad my foot and then I woke up in the middle of the night that night and flexed my foot and was like, oh my God, I injured myself too. So I woke up the next morning, told my girlfriend, Jill, that I think I injured my foot. And she was like, holy crap, what's going on for you this trip? What's this about? And I stood up and sure enough, I couldn't put any weight on my right foot. So <laughs> now I'm wet and cold and it's raining and i have an injured foot that i can't walk on i'm like okay <laughs> let's see how today goes um really really long story short i was in the best place for this experience to happen because obviously i'm supposed to learn the medicine that i'm allowed to ask for things that i'm worthy of taking care of myself and that people want to help me that things will be provided to me if I just ask for them. If I believe that I'm worthy to be dry and warm and able to move around, people are there and they, I'm surrounded by grandmothers, mothers, infants, children. I'm only surrounded with loving women that I know aren't gonna judge me or shut me down or be like, make it on your own you know i'm with like empathetic and loving compassionate women that's like what the whole theme of this gathering is about is loving each other and helping each other out and um i'm just in tears like the whole time i was crying just because i had no idea how hard it was for me to accept help from other people so um i wind up <laughs> i wind up in the wellness tent Gloria, who's the, the head of the wellness of Spirit Weavers, first finds out about my luggage and she's like, get me on the phone with Southwest. <laughs> and she like talks to them. And then she's like, we don't have crutches on the land, but I have a girlfriend who owns a frog farm 10 miles away from here and she might have crutches in her attic. I'm waiting to hear back from her. 
and I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is insane. So my girlfriend Jill, we find out that she does have the crutches and my girlfriend Jill's like, I'm on it, let's go. Like she goes and gets the crutches. I stay there with my foot elevated wind up um, catching a amazing intimate performance, totally randomly, synchronistically, obviously, nothing is random, by Jane from Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Everybody knows that song, Home. Oh, home, now we come home. Home is where I belong with you. Okay, so the woman in that song is Jane and she's giving a private performance of like her own music and it is angelic and that band, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros is like one of mine and my husband's favorites. We've gone to see them here in Las Vegas. So I'm like, ah, you know, just receiving all these blessings because I'm able to, I'm taking care of myself and just, these are the, the reasons that I love sharing synchronistic stories so much because they're unreal. Like the things that wind up happening whenever you're leaning into discomfort and showing up to take care of yourself is unreal. You couldn't even imagine it. I could have allowed myself to be like in such a grumpy mood because my luggage didn't come. I could have been so upset because I was injured but I like wasn't gonna let myself sabotage my trip like that. Who wants that? Not me. So these are the reasons that I love telling synchronicity stories and um, it might not seem like a lot of medicine because you're a different person than I am and you have a lifetime of different experiences and all that. So this is my story. I'm really, really happy to share it. And um, the next few days after that, we're still just like continuing to lean into discomfort. And the best part about this though, the next morning after I got the crutches and all this, I woke up and my foot was fine. That sent me into a completely different tirade because I was like, dang, but yesterday it was such a big deal and I feel like I should still be injured and I feel like I shouldn't be able to walk. and. I should still be using these crutches because so much effort was gone through to get them for me and you know I had to just be like no that's not the truth like I'm honoring my story and I think that it was just the medicine that I needed to give myself to be able to ask people for things that um, universe was just like okay cool she got the memo <laughs> ding, ding 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 like magically here's your foot okay again I don't know very very strange very very strange um, these are the things that don't usually make sense about blessings from the universe um, oftentimes it's really good just to like take the blessing and be like thank you <laughs> got it but yeah that's I guess kind of all I wanted to share this time let me know if this resonates for you let me know if you have synchronicity stories of your own that you want to share and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming stuff. But I really hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day and just remember, you are always provided for. You are always going to be taken care of if you believe it for yourself and let things in. Let new things in. It's really, really hard to do sometimes, but the most miraculous medicine lies inside of being able to lean into discomfort and say, I am going to become a co-creator of my own life. So it's only whenever we start really um, becoming more mindful of the way that we're interacting and the taking responsibility for the life that we do have, taking responsibility for the choices that we make that have us in the situations that are making us feel like cramped up space-wise or not liberated not at peace within ourselves. Take responsibility of those and become self-aware and that is the best jumping off point toward change, toward positive growth and development. So thanks so much for sitting with me today. I hope you have a really beautiful day and have a lovely evening. Namaste.